Okay, let's go back just a few years. High school. Remember some of your classmates and their wild antics? Well, a young woman turned those antics into a sweet invention. Meet George Davison, CEO and founder of Davison, a company that helps turn new product ideas into a reality. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Thank you. I love this story because we're talking about a woman who lives in New York now. She's a model. Model. But yet she had an idea years ago. That's right. And then decides to run with it today. I mean, what gives? What made her just go for it now? Well, you know, we all have ideas tucked away somewhere in a drawer or, you know, some, maybe there's some cobwebs on there. Okay, so what do, you, what do you do? It's, it's right there up in the closet, an idea. What do all you right. do, George? Dust it off, bring it out, and maybe start to look for somebody to help you. Somebody and who's got, you know, a track record okay. who can really start to show you, hey, look, I took this from an idea in someone's mind and I was able to design and engineer, build it, and today it's selling in the store. So someone that really has a good background and that can mm -hmm. really, really put it forward for you. Exactly. Now you have something great that I love, which proves this. You have something called Dare to Invent. Tell me about it. Dare to Invent. Well, anybody who has an idea and wants to go challenge the world with their idea, they have to have a little daring little bug inside of them. A little chutzpah. Yeah, that chutzpah gets you over the finish line in most cases. And she had chutzpah, this girl from New York. Big chutzpah. <laughs> Let's take a look. Meet Christine Walker. She's from New York City. She's a self-proclaimed obsessive baker who wants to revolutionize the way we eat cookies. Our cafeteria served these huge chocolate chip cookies. And the football players, they used to buy them every day at lunch. And they had a very, very unique way of eating them. They would put them on the tray, pour milk all over the cookie, and then just devour them. I was horrified by that. It was disgusting. They were like a bunch of barbarians eating this. You know, cookies weren't always a delicious treat. Hundreds of years ago, they were called biscuits, and they were as hard as rocks. If somebody bit directly into one of those chunks, they'd most likely end up with broken teeth. So people would dunk them in milk or water to moisten them up so they'd actually be edible. How cool would it be to have a bowl made out of cookie? You fill the bowl up with milk, you can dunk your cookies in the cookie bowl, and then eat the cookie afterwards. We could call it the cookie bowl, it'd be so awesome. So based on what our team develops here for Christine's idea, it's my job to gain corporate interest in the product. At this point, the team hasn't provided me with enough information to go and make that happen. So Mr. D suggests that we bring Dan in for a testing session and let him feel the same thing Christine felt in that cafeteria with that messy food and that giant pile of shit. I brought some cookies. I brought some milk. Sound like a great time, Dan? Let's get this over with already. Let me uh, make sure that here oh, you can. Oh, no, see how to... nice that is. I don't want to... OK, here we go. We're going to have a little milk with our cookies. There's some for clay. Dig in, guys. Okay. Dig racing. in. No, that's good stuff. Do you have enough milk? Let me get you with a little more milk. Don't you wish you had a bowl to put this in? What I would only do for a bowl right now. See? See, he's learning. He's getting the concept. Do we understand the problem now? and why there's such a need for it in the marketplace. I think so. Okay, good. Our point has been made. You gonna finish that? Some more milk? Yeah, sure. Okay, here you I'll go. I'll take some more. Oh. Oh, I think we got this on the wrong person. <laughs> here, see if that helps. You know, that's not bad. <laughs> Product ready for market? Might need a little work. We will work on it, and we'll work together on it. The question that I have is, somebody have more cookies? You know what, let's get back to work. So that was completely disgusting. You know, I can't imagine being in that situation, especially in high school, that would've been gross. Dan just doesn't seem to be getting the cookie bowl concept. So Jason and his team are gonna come up with a design that changes his mind. Jason's team designed a silicon dessert bowl that can cook at any temperature with any recipe. Users can bake cookies, cakes, breads, brownies, cereal treats, muffins, nearly anything. And they bake up evenly every time. We called it the cookie bowl. I was really surprised with what the team came up with. We showed it to XHP and in theory they loved it, but they didn't like the name. They wanted to see a full rebrand of the product. Even though we weren't quite there yet, we came back, we tweaked the packaging, a little more attractive. We gave it a new name, Brownie Bowl. Double consonant, rolls off the tongue really well and it's great for marketing. So I think we're almost there. At first I was a little nervous because it wasn't originally what I had thought of, but at this point I really don't care what it's called, just as long as it's out and people can enjoy it. The Brownie Bowl was picked up by Extraordinary Home Products, and now they're on their way to the stores. We invited Christine to Pittsburgh for a big surprise. Professional bakers are going to be using her Brownie Bowl. There we go. Oh my goodness, what is all this? These are some of the goodies that we had made for you. Oh my gosh. Christine, we're so excited. I mean, there's like, there's a million and one things people are doing with this right now. I can't even believe this. 
How many things are there here? Oh my gosh, this is the best one, cookie. Doesn't that look good? Look, you can even make breakfast with it. It's this great, is amazing. It? Yeah. If you like that, I have something else for you too. It's a big fat check. That's your first royalty <laughs> check. <laughs> yeah, it is. Nuh -uh. Yeah, it is. Stop it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Christine did it, and we're just pumped for her right now. I never in a million years thought that this product would be in a professional bakery, ever. It can be tailored to your exact tastes, however you want to have your brownie bowl, pudding, Rice Krispies, whatever you want, you can have, and it's unbelievable. All of this started with an idea in high school, and now our product's sitting here in QVC, Bed Bath Beyond, and other major stores. I couldn't be happier for her. I dared to invent you should dare to invent too. Don't be scared. Take a risk. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> oh my gosh! Now that is. I got to get one of those. <laughs> That's really great. Isn't it a good story? It's an awesome story, and you come into the store and voila! There it is. I got to tell you, it's just to me the proof is in the pudding, no pun intended here. Right. In that you really. Honestly, can't just wing it, go for it, dare it, meet you, and take it all the way. That's it. Everything you just said, just have to do it. Just have to say, it. I'm going to put a few other things to the side, put my, uh, put my thinking hat on, put my ego hat a little on, because you're going to need a little ego to get through it, because sometimes family and friends can be taking a kick at you as you're going. But and at the end of the day, it's not easy, but it's totally doable. It's, well, you just saw it. I just saw it. <laughs> I want to do this. And it was so sweet. And there was ka-ching, ka-ching. There you go. I love it. Did you say sweet? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you are. <laughs> Thank you, George. And to find out more about developing your idea, visit davison.com. It can be done. Go to the website, D-A-V-I-S-O-N.com. Get that idea out of the closet.